Hare Krishna, Namaste, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me here today. Really appreciate your support. Matru Devo Bha, Pitru Devo Bhava. This is a famous verse from various Upanishads mentioned often. What does this verse mean, or these verses mean? Revere your parents as good as God, your mother as good as God, your father as good as God. Yes, but what is the context of this verse? It is very important to realize that this is a high standard in which the Vedas describe in order to respect individuals, particularly those who you have a deep relationship with. However, this should not be taken out of context to mean literally they are God. Rather, it should be understood that they are representatives of God. When we have a society which is based on the Vedic understanding or Siddhanta or conclusion, we must come to the proper context. What is the purpose? The Vedas have many ways of honoring individuals. And, of course, when we deal with family members, particularly the mother and father, we are to revere them, respect them, and honor them. But not necessarily as equal level of God. Uh, of God. They, are like, they can be like God in quality, but not quantity. We have to understand first, why is this verse mentioned? We have to also understand what constitutes a mother and father. We must know first and foremost that ultimately no matter what, when we are surrendered unto God, God is the ultimate father. As Krishna mentions in the Bhagavad Gita, Aham Bija Pratapita, that he is the seed giving father of every living entity. So how do we understand the verses that I mentioned? Sometimes these verses are taken out of context. And in Vedas, any verse can be taken out of context. So there should be guidance by a pro proper guru. Tadviti Pranipatena 434 Bhagavad Gita. Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita that one must learn from a bona fide spiritual master and render service unto them. So when we use this verse to sometimes emotionally blackmail or use this to gain advantage over individuals, then we are doing a disservice to the parents in the long run, to the Vedas, and to the individuals that this is addressed to. We have to both live our ends of the bargain. We also have to understand that the Uttama Siddhanta, or the topmost conclusion of Vedic scripture, is the Srimad Bhagavatam. And conclusively, it gives the understanding of what constitutes a parent, a mother or a father. And so, if the child is to be res respectful, and yes, even without a proper context, the respect has to be there. But respect has to be earned and honored in a way that it is in harmony of the proper context of the Vedas. So the Srimad Bhagavatam is actually the conclusion of the Vedas by Vyasadeva. And that states what actually constitutes a parent. So if we want our children to revere us, we must live out our end of the bargain too. We cannot use this simply as emotional blackmail. In the Srimad Bhagavatam, 5th canto, 5th chapter, 18th verse, Rishabdev mentions to his sons how important the aspect of spirituality is. He explains, Guru nasasya swajano nasasya janani nasasya devam nasasya pita nasasya janani nasasya namo joyedya samumetra prithyam This is an essential verse of, of what constitutes our understanding of what is family life. Sri Rishabdev mentions that one cannot become a mother, father, husband, or even a devata or a worshipful demigod, or even a relative, if one cannot deliver their independence from the cycle of birth and death. And how can that happen? By educating and loving our children in a way that they develop God consciousness. So they become God conscious. So when they serve the parents, it is to help them serve Krishna. When they serve Krishna, then they're automatically serving the parents. 
so when you please so is it that when you please the parents you please God but what if we water the root of the tree so when we please Krishna then we please the parents and we please whole society I as a father myself of two children understand the importance of the proper context of the Vedic Siddhanta discipline and discipline begins with self-discipline if I want to have my children respect me I have to honor my part of the bargain too so parents children understand that first you have to serve God when you water the root of the tree the entire tree flourishes thank you very much Hare Krishna